Hi, this is Alyssa Conway with Pet Food Forum TV. I'm here now speaking with Jonathan Thorne, Executive Director of Process Technology for Shink Process. Thank you for joining us, Jonathan. Thanks for having me. You're speaking at Pet Food Forum about the potential of using ozone as a sanitation agent for pneumatic conveying pipelines. How common are these pipelines in pet food production? Well, pneumatic conveying systems are very prominent in the uh, pet food industry, handling everything from, say, raw ingredients to finished product. Uh, but a large portion of them don't address the sanitation and cleaning uh, requirements, and we see that as a large gap in the industry's movement towards uh, sanitation. So that means sanitizing the pipelines is a critical component of ensuring safe pet food production. Uh, it certainly could be. Uh, we don't really know the role that convey lines play in some of these contamination recalls which are currently going on throughout the industry. Uh, but you know, we certainly, uh, with so many pipelines, um, and somewhere from most of to all of finished food pass, may pass through a pipeline in one plant or another, um, it's something that can't be ignored and needs to be addressed. So why would pet food producers consider using ozone to sanitize these pipelines? So ozone is, uh, of the many sanitation media out there, uh, we chose ozone because we felt it had the best potential as a solution. For number one, uh, it's, a, it's a gas, so it more easily accesses some of these unreachable areas. Uh, two, it's actually produced from the environment, so you can draw oxygen from the atmosphere. Uh, use it to produce ozone and then return it to the atmosphere by destructing it back into oxygen so it's, it's uh, in, uh, environmentally friendly. And then uh, it's easily purged from the convey line so when we're done you can begin using the convey line almost immediately without any uh, contamination or uh, residual materials. Mm. And then finally uh, it's really a very strong oxidizing agent and oxidation is really the mechanism which destroys cellular tissue or cellular uh, components by oxidizing the outer wall and rendering it inert. So combining all those factors together, I really feel like it's the strongest uh, race in the, or horse in the race. Great. Um, and you did research to see if ozone could be validated as an effective sanitizing agent. Where did your research come from? What well, did you find? The first thing we did is we, uh, we elevated our knowledge level about where these pathogens, uh, how they grow, and how they're being destroyed in other industries. And then we partnered with uh, some local food safety firms that uh, are experts in this field, and then used our own expertise in terms of uh, air flows and piping systems and how it all works together to devise a validation procedure or process to try to answer the question, is it legitimate and can it be done? Uh, we started with some more like bench scale tests where we had uh, control over the different variables and, and used that to, uh, to destroy and kill the likes of Listeria, Salmonella, E. coli. And then uh, we basically took those results which were very favorable and, and scaled those up to uh, what's essentially a full scale piping system using our own test lab. And so we actually had to use a surrogate in place of real organisms for, for safety concerns. Uh, and then, uh, so that's really the stage we're in right now, a scale up. Uh, the initial results aren't uh, quite as easily done as we were able to do in the, uh, in the bench scale, uh, but we've got a, a very solid path forward to, to making this a real thing. Great, how would this help pet food producers meet market needs or challenges? For example, would it help in complying with new FDA FSMA requirements? Uh, sure. Well, the first and foremost, anything you can reduce, anything you do to reduce the risk of uh, contamination or recall is, is obviously beneficial overall uh, if it can be shown to be effective. Uh, so if it turns out the convey lines in these current recalls are actually a huge player, then we've already done the work and, and found uh, what we feel like is the solution. Uh, but even if it just prevented one customer from having one recall, that's a huge impact on that business and uh, would be well worth the, the time and energy invested. In terms of FSMA, uh, one of the big aspects of that is creating a clean break in your production schedule where you can say, at this point in time, this, the equipment producing this material was clean and safe 
and uh, we really think that this would provide that for, for convey lines. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Jonathan. Thank you.